reflecting back on your upbringing and how your family was able to put you in these positions, even though you had limited resources. And now that you are a mom to, I think, two kids, what advice do you have for other parents that are maybe in this field already and they see that they're, or maybe, maybe not, but I'm, I'm assuming most listeners are already in this field, that they see their kids uh, having this curiosity, this similar curiosity that, that you had. How do you recommend they pursue this? And I'm sure it changes depending on the age, but like, how do you recommend people introduce their children that might not have an experience really with programming or working with computers to get an introduction to it? That's a really great question. I actually did some research on that in grad school as well. I think one of the things to keep in mind is, is Carol Dweck's growth mindset research, which is now pretty commonly known, but definitely look it up. She really talks about how we think about ourselves and how we think about what we can do. And it, I really, this applies well beyond computer science. It applies to math. It applies to really any topic area. And it's a great approach for anyone who's facing challenges in work or in life to think of the current problem as not so much a reflection of yourself, but as a, a challenge to be overcome as something that you can break down and figure out how you can learn that material. And that has certainly carried me through my career. I was programming, th that first very small episode of programming was on tapes, which was crazy, right? Like audio tapes. And then, you know, later I was programming with Turbo Pascal or some early IDEs, and then much later in IntelliJ and learning how to use all those tools. And so I think that anytime you come to a new tool, I mean, I use VS Code now, like most people are doing. And, you know, anytime you come to a new tool, you have to have a growth mindset. Anytime you come to a new programming language, it's that growth mindset that carries you through. I can learn this. I can figure out what's different about this. And another class in college that really shaped me on this is a programming languages course taught at Grinnell College by Mr. Stone, we called him, Mr. John Stone, who is one of the faculty there. And he really emphasized how programming languages were both similar and different and gave us the full spec of that. I'm sure many people have taken courses like this, but that was one of the most empowering classes I had in college where I came out of that feeling like I can learn any language, not just use the ones I had used before, but really adapt myself. And so I learned object-oriented coding after that. And then later I switched to web development and I knew that it was going to be hard. Like each of those big changes was hard. But if you set your mind to it and it's what you want to do, you can do that. And the same thing is true with learning AI and other topic areas. If it's what you want to do, if the outcome from it is what you want, then figure out how to problem solve your own learning. And that's really a lot of what she's talking about. If you enjoyed this clip, make sure you watch the entire video, which has a lot more content just like this. And if you want to make sure you don't miss any of our episodes where we talk to leaders in the tech industry, from software engineers to product managers to engineering managers, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and also click the notification bell. 